Okay. One coordinate in Cartesian stay the same, so in this case Z, because you can see that the integration of the direction of C is good. It's good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because I go from the from the Z of this paraboloid to the Z of the another paraboloid, you know? And the intersection, I need to find now the intersection. One of the intersections, so what is the curve intersection between two paraboloids? Well, I take the equation, I take the equation, and the equation I saw, I saw the Z is equal to x squared plus y squared in the first paraboloid. Uh -huh. And this looks like similar of this, but the opposite sign. Therefore, you can say, okay, for example, this Z, this Z, D, this Z, is equal to 4, minus this Z, so the Z of the cone. Uh -huh. Entonces, when they are connecting both equations, entonces, I suppose que the curve is the intersection. Entonces, es 2C equal 4, C equal 2. Okay, C equal 2 represent the plane here. The plane C equal 2 represent the plane in which the both paraboloids intersect. Uh -huh. But what about the curve? And one of the curves is easy because see, I know that the intersection is in C equal to substitution these two here. Uh -huh. I have then x squared plus y squared equal to. So then two dimension, in two dimension, this is three dimension. Remember, we need to do one graph in three dimension, and at least one in two dimension to understand the solid, no? In two dimensions, suppose x, y, it's a, it's a circle. It's a circle. It's a circle where the radius is radical 2. Okay? Now we are ready to set up that triple integral. That triple integral, que es el volume. Es equal. Triple integral. Integral function one. Integrate first with respect to dz. And dz go, go, go from the z1. I call c1 as the c1 of the, the first paraboloid. Is, oh, yo, yo, it is this guy. Look. This is z1. This is z1. And this is z2. Okay, this is z1 and this is z2. Uh -huh. And to say you're right, but no using x, y, no, 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 because, um, you know, see, I make a decision to set out the whole integral, the total integral, using um, cylindrical coordinate. The only variable legal in the integral is c, r, and theta. You need to do something in order to express everything using this new variable. Uh huh. Que es, eh, es obvio que C1, es obvio que C1 es R square. Yes o no? Uh, es obvio que Z2, ajá, and C2 es 4 minus R square. Ok, entonces ahí di the first integral en the three dimension space. Ajá, uh hay -huh. scan using the C. Uh -huh. Now, RDR, remember that Jacobian, Jacobian in cylindrical is exactly the same as Jacobian in, in polar. Because cylindrical is like an extension in three dimensions for the polar. So the R go, go, go from zero to radical two. Uh -huh. And theta go from zero to pi. No always easy to buy, depending on the problem, no? But in this case, the entire circle is at the hour intersection and between two paraboloids is a circle. And it's obvious that it is this. Okay. Now we use a calculator, we use a Wolfram Alpha. Uh -huh. Remember, we say in the test, no? In the test we are doing by hand, in the test on paper, no? The answer is 4 pi. Any question? What part is confusing? What part is confusing?
Eh? Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. I want to show you GeoGebra in this problem. Okay, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let me share the screen to GeoGebra. Switching GeoGebra. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this is GeoGebra. Okay, and the and the original original we have two paraboloids. Look, we have the paraboloid open up, the red one, the paraboloid open down, the blue. Uh -huh. We have also why not the plane z equal to look if the plane can we discover can both paraboloids intersecting. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, let me remove both paraboloids to see the, the solid. This is my solid. Okay, the plane also no important now. This is my solid. And the shadow, uh, okay, is the projection for the intersecting uh, curve onto the x, y axis. Remember x, y axis. X is the red one, y is the green one. And this is our solid. Okay, you need to compute the volume. And the integration was in this direction, okay, in this direction. Super clear, super confusing. Huh? I, I want to hear opinion. This is solid. Let me rotate. Uh -huh. Clear, super. Super. This is the most important guy. Set up properly the triple integral. The rest is a long, long, not too, too, too much, but it's a long, a stupid. Calculus one and algebra. Okay. Uh -huh. That was the example one for today. Um, we solving using the cylindrical. Uh -huh. It's classical when you have paraboloid cylindrical. And cylinder, of course. There is the reason that the name is cylindrical. Cylindrical coordinate. Okay, let's move on to the example two. Let me know so you see or not the whiteboard. All right, let me see whiteboard. There you go, boom. Boom. Do you see whiteboard? Example two for today. Uh huh. Example two for today. Well, we have a solid. And this solid is form a solid, let me call T. I don't know, I call T, doesn't matter the name, the letter, solid T, solid S, solid E, can form it by the intersect, bounded, bounded by this uh, surface, and this surface. Aha, uh -huh. wow. Good. Does it now identification of the surface? Because I need to do the graph in 3D. What about the first one? What about this surface? A circular cylinder. Very well. Cylinder. Cylinder circular. Very well. And the second one? Surface. No, no ellipsoid, it's a sphere. It's a sphere because the coefficient is the same, one, one, one. Or two, 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 or three, three, three. Okay, it's a sphere. Uh -huh. Entonces, it's a circular cylinder, but more information is uh, along, along, along C axis, uh -huh, because there is a variable missing in the equation. And also the center is located at 0, 0. So, my first surface look like, like that. Cylinder. This is infinity in both directions. This is this. This is this. My first surface. My second surface is a sphere. The sphere where the center again is in the origin. But what about radio? What about radio? What about radio? 
Es tú. The radius two. Ajá, entonces, I suppose que this intersection is a circle. This radio is one. This radio is one. But we have radio two, que es a sphere. Look like that. Uh -huh. Like that. And like that. This is two. This is two. And this is two. Well, um, what about my solid? I don't understand very well. The solid is bounded by the, o sea, the lateral walk, eh, the, the cylinder, but the top and the bottom is a piece of a sphere, no? I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I don't know. Always the graph in 3D by hand is, is no good. Uh, immediately I see in your algebra right now. But okay, using my common sense and imagination, my soul is formed by look 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 this walk this walk lateral and the top i suppose we have something like that my sketch is no good guy this is a piece of a sphere uh -huh. and this is another piece of the sphere okay to so say my solid is bounded by one by everything everything okay well let me see in your you it's no good my sketch is no good no good no good no good okay let me try oh wait, let me see open Here over there. I found. There you go. I have that. Let me share the screen. Share the screen. Good job. Okay. Do you see? Do you see the solid? Uh -huh. Okay, look, the solid is formed, was formed by one cylinder. Is this cylinder? Look, the green one. And a sphere, radio two, boom. And this is bonded by two surfaces. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have one lateral walk. Is the cylinder, and we have the top and the bottom is a piece of the sphere, right? More clear now. <laughs> Sorry, my sketch in 3D is a mess. Clear now. I switch into whiteboard. Okay, good. Super. This <laughs> Ricardo. Okay, now, 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 now. Let's see. Okay, wow, what the hell? Okay, now let's go to the whiteboard again. Good. Do you see whiteboard? Uh huh. Okay, okay. Good. Well, to say I need to find something, I need to find the intersection in between the sphere and cylinder. Okay, at least. I need to find the equation for this thing, right? Or a what C value of this? Well, I know, I know the x squared plus y squared equal one represent the, the surface cylinder, no? And x squared plus y squared plus c squared equal four represent the sphere. And the common part between this sphere, and this surface, sorry, is. Well, so you replace x squared plus y squared equal one here. Actually, we have one plus c squared equal four. And you saw the c in this equation, c squared is equal four minus one get three. 
Uh -huh. Now find the square root both sides. C, C is equal. Plus or minus radical 3. Uh -huh. what, what is the meaning of that? But plus or minus radical 3 represents two planes. One plane here. The, the distance from the origin is equal to radical 3 positive. And we have another plane here. Okay, is C equal minus radical 3. And this is the intersect. Well, intersecting of the C common okay, share the cylinder and the sphere. Okay. Okay. This is the sketch 3D. Uh, remember, we need both 3D and uh -huh. Actually, this is flat. Okay, good. let me try to do my best. This is flat. However, we have a piece of the sphere here, right? But this is C equal something, right? Okay, the graph in 3 and 2D. Well, it's easy. The projection in the xy plane of the and this curve is a sphere, but it's obvious that the projection belongs to the cylinder, therefore the radio for the cylinder is one. This is the projection in xy. Uh, it's just a circle, unicircle. Radio one, one, negative one, negative one, and the center is zero comma zero. Okay, this is the equation for the. Okay, okay, okay. So, ready, ready. We are ready to set up the triple integral. Bueno, the triple integral to find the volume. In this case, a volume, no? A volume again. So, the problem is say volume. Is. Volume is equal. A triple integral. Ajá, entonces, now, integral funcho es Juan. Let me integration with respect to this first. Ajá, and sigo, bueno, sigo, 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 ok, aquí we, we need to use our imagination. Sigo from, from this to this. Present of the sphere okay, the z is equal to minus radical 3 you know, or, or, or not exactly this is flat and this is a sphere so my c go from this c c2 c1 to c2 okay, c2 is here and one point here okay this is the c1 c2 oh 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 oh, oh. remember it's important the imagination I take a banish the symmetry of this figure. Symmetry. Uh -huh. and I can see okay, this figure is symmetry with respect to the plane XY. Therefore, if you integration from zero to C2, from zero to C2, the C2 of, of course is expression, and your multiplication by two, you compute the volume. Yes or no? Do you see the idea? O sea, es, es possible doing that way. O es possible doing that way. Okay, no, 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 no. I don't like this. I like C1. And no multiplication by I, I don't know why. I prefer the, the easy way, always. Uh -huh. So you multiplication by 2, take advantage of the symmetry of the figure, always. And then you compute the volumes, area. The integration from 0 to C1. Ahora, who is C1? Bueno, C1 is the equation of the... Bueno, C1, C1, C1 is the C of the sphere. So, this guy. This guy. And this guy, when you isolate it, uh -huh, we have C squared. Or minus something, minus x squared, y squared. But this is impossible. Uh, right in that way, because I make a decision to do the problem using cylindrical. In cylindrical, the variable that we have participated in the game are C, uh, R, and theta. 
We are not xy anymore. No, no, no. No, no. Entonces es r square. Es obvio que es r square because I know the relation g is take x square plus y square. This is r square. This is r square. You're subtracting. Entonces es square root. C is equal square root. R square. Uh -huh. Entonces, you replace no C1, Z1 anymore. No, 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 no. The limit actually is 4 minus R square. R, the R, the data. Remember the Jacobian guy. Don't forget this R. Well, this is the rest is piece of gay in the two dimension picture. The radio go from 0 to 1 and the theta go from 0 to 1. Multiplication by 2 and the answer is. 4 pi over 8, over 3, sorry, mm, parenthesis, a minus 3 radical 3 is the answer. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I encourage you, so you have time, verify, verify this uh, computation and work for an alpha, no? and also you practice a little bit, no? work for an alpha. Uh -huh. Any question in the example two? I bring another example. Three of the cylindrical. And you see the cylindrical is extremely important. And it's spherical. I want to I bring three more examples of the spherical and the proof of the Jacobian and the spherical guy. I forgot to explain in the last class. Okay, any question, any question, any question? No? Okay, let's go to example three. Example three. Example three is about. Mm, we have a, 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 ball, a solid T formed by C equal X square plus Y square over two and X square plus Y square uh, plus C square equal 80. It's a solid. Uh -huh. and again, we compute volume. We compute volume using triple integral. Uh -huh. So immediately when we talk about volume, I know that the integral function is 1. Okay, so when you compute volume, <coughs> volume, volume, volume is equal triple integral in the region on the solid T, region of solid, a 3D of this one integral function dv. Okay, so to set out the limit of the triple integral, we need to do the sketch in 3D. Okay, sketch in 3D. Okay, let me try to do my best. 3D sketch. Do you see, I warning you, in this moment is super important identification the surface when well, at least the most common non sophisticated the most common surface and uh, make a roughly sketch in 3d by hand because in, uh, actually it's not necessary geogebra so when i was a student geogebra do not exist we have no software we have no internet uh -huh. so in this moment the, the engineer and the student are doing everything by hand. By hand, uh, maybe calculator, huh? but no sophisticated calculator, you know, regular calculator. Sedano supermarket, two plus two equals four. Uh -huh. Now, okay, okay, what is the name uh, of the first surface? Help me. C is equal to S squared plus Y squared divided by two. What is the name? What is that? What's the name of this surface? Okay, answer me. Now right, let me check the attendance. Okay. Chayir, Ricardo, Omar, Brando, Carlos Duque, Robin, Leonardo, Anne Cruz, Jocelyn, uh, Heidi. Join, Heidi join. Eh, Gerardo, Cor, Daniela Rabasa, uh, 
Fimbi. Okay. Okay, good. We have today 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This is, uh, this is the, the average, 12 or 13. And then in the, in, the, in the roster, I have 24 students. Okay, they never participate. Never participate, no great. And you fail. It's obvious. It's a, uh, elliptical. Elliptical? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Well, the clue is Hirando. Look. So we have three variables X, Y, Z. But the clue is that Z is no square. Now, suppose que I change a little bit the, the equation or the, the, the equation. Huh? I put Z equal x squared plus y squared. I suppose que you identification very well. This quickly, immediately, right? What is that? What is the, what is the this curve? Huh? It's a parabola, it's obvious, right? So, if you divide by two, you believe that these two affect the name of the, the surface? No. The only thing that affect is that this paraboloid maybe is a little bit wider. But it's okay. So that's a paraboloid that open up. I don't know if it's wider or it's narrow. I don't care. Let's see. I, I know it's a paraboloid that open up. And the second surface, what is that second surface? It's a sphere. It's a paraboloid and it's a sphere. And this is a sphere. The center is located in the 0, 0, and the radio is radical 80. Uh -huh, radical 80, when well, you put in the calculator, it doesn't matter. Well, it's a big sphere. Big, big, big sphere like that. Uh -huh. Big, big sphere. I suppose that the intersection between this surface look like like that okay one piece of the big sphere uh -huh, and parabola this is the intersection uh, i want to find the z value associated with this okay uh -huh. so i know manipulate a little bit the the intersection the the equation the equation is look the equation is suppose 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 I multiply by two because I don't like this two. So you put two c equal x square plus y square. Uh -huh. So you here replace this to this. This is algebra, guy. This is solution of the pre-calculus. No? no linear system of equation. No linear system of equation. This is pre-calculus. So you replace. You have to see instead of this plus c square equal 80. Ooh, I have equation. Quadratic equation. Let me put it in the elegant way in standard form. C square plus 2c minus 80 equal to 0. And you solve it by using the quadratic formula or the factorization. I don't care. I suppose that you know very well how. Bueno, it's obvious that the combination is, let me see, factorization okay, uh, is 10 and 8. No? 10 and 8, 10 and 8, because 10 times 8 is 80, and 10, somehow 10 minus 8 is 2, no? Positive 10, um, negative 8. Uh -huh. Entonces, we have two equations, two linear equations. The first one is c plus 10 equals 0. The solution is negative 10, que have no sense. Because it's negative, it says it's, it's below, it says no, 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 it's totally out of the, the game. And C equal A, A equal minus A equals zero, is C equal A. So I discovered, wow, okay, this, this C is A, so we have a plane here, okay, the, the is C equal eight, and which intersecting, intersecting here the piece of the sphere okay 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 but i need to do the graphing 2d 
Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. It's important. Remember what is important because in 3D, give me information. In the three plane integral, we have three, no? Three integral. In 3D, I have the information about the first integral. And you uh, integrate in the direction that you consider better, no? Uh -huh. But when you are doing the projection, you say the projection give me the solution for the double integral re remaining. Double integral remaining. No, it's classical. It's always the same. Okay, so let me try to understand the projection here, the projection, this projection, this projection, this projection. Okay, uh huh. This is maybe it's a circle, but what is the radius? This, and center is the origin, 0, 0, 0, 0, no? However, I have no idea what is the radio of this circle. But okay, but you continue with the algebra. To say this is okay, suppose you take the Easter equation, in my opinion, is the first one, and you replace z equal 8 here, 8, 8, is equal x squared plus y squared over 2. Ah, multiplication, cross multiplication, to say x squared plus y squared is equal 16. Wow, that's a circle. And the radius is four. The radius is four. This is square root sixteen. Does so my graph in two D can help me to set out the double integral? It look like like that. Wow. Okay, x y circle uh -huh. and radius four. Okay, I am ready. Now I am ready. Now I am ready. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Much better. You, I, I believe okay, I want to, to see in algebra to understand much better our solid. So the solid is formed by different surface. The, the, okay, this is my solid, no? Uh, let me see. I, this is my solid. My solid is formed by paraboloid. But the top of the paraboloid is a piece of a sphere. Okay, this is my soul. Yeah, I need to find the volume of this. Okay, let me see in your algebra. Wait, wait a second. Open. Uh huh. It's something like that. Yeah. Look. Boom. Okay. Let me share the screen. Do you go? Boom. Do you see? Okay, okay. Look, 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 look. Okay, good, good, good. Very good, very good. Uh, look at that. We have basically the paraboloid. Get this paraboloid. Look. And we have the sphere, I guess, the big sphere, like that, boom. Uh -huh. And the solid formed by the wall of the paraboloid. It's a paraboloid, and it's a piece of sphere. More clear now? Wow, beautiful, huh? I love that. Okay, okay, so let's see. You understand very well our solid. Uh -huh. Just in case, when the class is over, I sent to everyone this script of the GeoGebra and you analyze. I suppose that you don't understand very well that part of the surface, but I promise in the, ne in the next chapter, I want to explain the, the surface in detail. Another way, another point of view of the surface. Okay, okay, ready, ready, ready to continue. Let me share the screen to the whiteboard. Okay. Boom. Boom. Okay. Okay. Ready. Triple integral. Volume. S equal. Oi. Volume. S equal. T. 
triple integral. One, two, three. Integral function one. Uh -huh. Entonces, I want to make a decision integrate with respect to z. This is 99% of the time we are doing in this direction. So I go to the c1, que es the c of the paraboloid, to c2, que es the c of the sphere. Uh -huh. Now, in the paraboloid, the, the equation is x squared plus y squared equal divided by 2, no? like that. So actually, when you write the c1, c1 is r squared over 2, because x squared plus y squared is r squared. 2, 2, 2, the r, or the c, sorry, c2, que es the c of the sphere, que es c is equal to square root 80, minus x squared plus y squared, and this is r squared. This is the, the c of the sphere. Uh -huh. Yeah, Andy? Z bar. I did the first integral. This is most important in 3D. Now, I forgot 3D. I focus it in 2D. In 2D, a piece of gay. In 2D, radio go from 0 to 4. Remember, radio is always positive. Well, not always, but 99% of the time. And theta, this is dr, r, dr, d theta. Don't forget the Jacobian. And d theta is from 0 to 5. End the story, guys. Okay? Triple integral and this solid. We are using cylindrical. Coordinate. The answer is uh, we are a little bit. Uh, 64 parentheses 10 radical 5 minus 19. Wow, what the hell? Over 3 pi. Is the final answer. Uh -huh. Don't waste the time and energy solving this by hand. Well, you, you can. But uh, okay. This is not our objective now. Okay, our objective now is try to focus it in the in the setup, the limit of the triple integral. Any question? Come on, I want to hear opinion. Confusing, clear, crazy. Marco, Heidi. Okay, everything is clear or confused? Come on, answer me. Do you understand or no? Annette, clear Annette or no? Annette, are you there? Answer me. Yes, I am here or no. Annette? Leonardo? Are you there? Robin? Gerardo, are you there? Immediately, Gerardo answered me. Clear. Annette? Ah, yes. It's clear, okay. Duque, no? Okay, Duque. Okay. Okay, so let's go now to the spherical. The spherical is super. Because the spherical is typical substitution. Okay, we are using wing. We have sphere. Well, we have sphere, and however, we make a decision doing the cylindrical. But okay, okay, because we have cylinders. Uh, cylindrical, cylinder and a sphere. What what are you using? Cylindrical or, or, or spherical coordinate? I don't know. Depends on the problem. Okay, so now the Jacobian. Let's compute the Jacobian. Cylindrical, remember, I want to recall quickly, spherical. Coordinate. Uh -huh. Guys, do you understand the idea? Okay, okay, using Cartesian x, y, and c, when you try to set out the integral, the triple integral, this is crazy. Crazy computational. However, when you modification the regular coordinate Cartesian to this special, uh, this new triple integral is super, super easy and frequently, the, the, in the most of the problem, the limit is a constant. And we can separate in three integral and you integrate separately. And this is okay. What's the, what is the idea? What the idea is look, okay, I want to repeat the idea. Okay, look, this is x, this is a y, this is z, it's a famous point p. Uh -huh. And nothing is spherical, 
instead of the traditional x, y, z, no, 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 we have another transformation that is rho, phi, and theta. Uh, rho is distant. It's the distance from the origin to the point. It's a rho. Okay, of course, it's not equal r. R is when you're projecting in the plane here, for example. For example, in x, y, this is r. And this is theta. Okay? Now, theta is classical. Uh -huh. in, 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 in polar, in cylindrical, we have r, theta, and the other coordinate you can see in this case. Or depend on the problem. But in this case, in spherical, no. In spherical, we have one distance, it's rho, and we have two angles. The classical theta, but we have another phi, which is this angle. Okay, it's important to understand that phi is measured from C axis. Uh -huh. Entonces, the range of, of phi is from zero, when it's perfect, coincident with the c-axis, and pi, que es en opposite direction. So, phi pi represents this, in opposite direction. And theta, no, theta is nice. Theta is from zero to pi. Bueno, depende de figura, ¿no? Uh, entonces, the formula of the conversion is x equal rho sine phi cosine theta. Uh -huh. Y is equal rho sine phi sine theta. And C is equal rho cosine phi. This is the formula that allows us conversion from, from, from spherical coordinate to, to rectangle. In opposite direction, well, in opposite direction, for example, rho is equal to square root x squared plus y squared plus c squared. And this is rho. Um, phi, we can compute it in this triangle. Look at that. We have rho. We have r here. Uh, I suppose we have c here. This is our famous phi angle. Uh, to say, for example, r, is equal, so this is C. This is R again, no? Uh, entonces es rho sine phi. And C is equal rho cosine phi. Using elementary definition of trigonometry in this. Ah, bueno, entonces theta, theta es de clásica. Theta es tangent inversa. Both y or x. This is the set of the equation that allows, and you know the r is square root x square plus y square. Uh, this, is, this is a combination polar, uh -huh, but this is a spherical, right? Uh -huh. Let's suppose they need to find the Jacobian, because I know that the Jacobian is the factor of the area in between when you are doing substitution, no? Es Jacobian, y la multiplicación de Jacobian. Pero en este caso es tridimensional Jacobian, ¿no? Porque I know que dv es dx, dy, dz. O dv es also eh, r, dr, d theta, dz, por ejemplo. And it's the Jacobian. Entonces, ¿qué es the Jacobian en esférica? This is the goal. This is the goal. Well, suppose it's very, very tedious to prove that. I suppose they have no sense. But I, I want to, to set up at least. No? O sea, the Jacobian, Jacobian x, comma y, comma c, conversion to the new guess, rho, comma phi, comma theta is a determinant. Wow, but it's three by three determinant. It's partial derivative x with respect the rho, partial derivative x with and partial derivative x with respect the theta. 
Uh -huh. And partial derivative of the y with respect to the rho. Partial derivative of the y with respect to the phi. And partial derivative of the y with respect to the theta. Uh -huh. So now, and the last row is partial derivative z with respect to the rho. Uh -huh. This column is the rho. Partial derivative z with respect to the phi. And partial derivative z with respect to the theta. Uh, by curiosity, let's do this partial derivative a little bit. For example, partial derivative, this expression with respect to rho, is obvio, que is sine phi, cosine theta, because derivative rho with respect to rho is one, and the other you consider constant. You differentiate with respect to the phi, well, entonces sin phi eh, deriva de sin y cosine, ¿no? entonces es rho cosine phi cosine theta. Ok, let me remove this bar because I suppose que the determinant is too long. And the derivative of the x with respect de, de theta, bueno, the derivative de cosine es minus sin, entonces es rho sin phi sin theta. Do you get the idea? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I want to abbreviate this. Similar, we complete the, the terminal like that. This is sine phi sine theta. This is a rho cosine. This is a rho sine phi cosine theta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And the last one is easier because it's C, no? And C is cosine phi a minus rho sine phi. Uh -huh. And finally, derivative with respect to theta, theta do not exist in the equation, so it's zero. Okay, this is the long process to compute this determinant. I want to skip because they have no sense. And the answer is row square and that's it so what is the Jacobian that we are looking for one of the Jacobian is look 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 db and the uh, spherical coordinate is rho square sine phi t rho d phi d theta wow so I include one new thing is the Jacobian and this is the cylindrical, no? Coordinate. However, I don't like the long way to prove this. There are one relatively easy way to, to see and clarify this idea. Look, look, let me try to explain. Let me try to explain. Suppose that we have the famous rectangular coordinate system, X, Y, Z. Uh -huh. And we have one uh, piece of the infinitesimal volume. Can you like, no, no like a rectangular cubic that you are familiar. Dx, dy, dc, no, no. A little bit curvy, like that, look. Let me show you, let me show you, let me try to do my best. Wait, wait, let me use another color. Uh -huh. Suppose, 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 like that. Okay, this is my DB in a spherical. Uh -huh. Does I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, I suppose, okay, this is the variation of D D, and this is the variation T rho in that direction. Let me make a zoom to see much better this picture. Uh, now, now the volume. See, you suppose that this is infinitesimal, too small, 
you consider like a, this curve, no curve, you know, like a box, but the length of this, why don't we use the R length? And the R length is, look, 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 this is row, this is row, so the first is multiplication, D row, time, uh -huh. so this distance is row, D phi, D phi. Uh -huh. Remember the R length formula. The R length formula, we have a, you know, a circle. Uh -huh. so we have radio here. And suppose they want to find that distance. That distance is the multiplication, the radio, time, the angle, in radian. Exactly the same we are doing now. Multiplication, the radio, que es rho. Multiplication by the angle, que es the phi, I suppose. Uh -huh. And this is exactly the same, look. This is our length also. Here it's curvy because it's theta. Uh -huh. So it is a R, but in this case the radius R. D theta. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 But what are the uh, what are the relationship when I know the equation can we study in the top part of the whiteboard? Okay. R is rho sine. So you substitution here, we have rho square because this rho and this rho together. This is R here, sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. And we get exactly the same result uh, using the geometry point of view. Okay, this is only to illustrate. But the, the, what is the conclusion? Well, the conclusion is, and the problem we are doing now, this is spherical coordinate. Well, you, uh, the Jacobian, que you suppose is R, rho square sine phi. That's it. That's it. So I bring three problems of the using the spherical coordinate. Okay. You have no question? Do you understand the, 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 the main idea? I know it looks like horrible, complicated, but no, no, no. I don't like the complicated. I don't like the proof. I don't like the stupid long algebra. I try to use it another way too, so. Okay, so now, suppose example one of the spheric. Uh -huh. So I need to compute the volume, no? See, it's a volume. It's a volume again. Remember, the only difference between volume and mass is that mass we have the function that we can interpret like a density function. That's it. Or center of mass. Depending, no? Suppose that the solid is formed by the surface. C is equal square root x squared plus y squared. This is my first surface. My second surface is x squared plus y squared plus c squared equal one. Okay, so I need to do the graph in 3D. X, Y, Z. To do the graph in 3D, well, I need to identify my surface. What is this first surface? Please help me. Identification, this first surface. Hemisphere, no, no hemisphere, no, no hemisphere. Okay, you see, blah, blah, blah. let me try. Okay, suppose that I square both sides. So I have, uh -huh. why no, here I do, because something is missing. Look, 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 suppose that I square both sides. C square is equal X square plus Y square. Uh -huh. Suppose that I move everything to the one side, so this is zero is equal to x squared plus y squared minus c squared. Or whatever you want, you copy like that, x squared plus y squared minus c squared equals zero. More clear now. What is that? What is the first name and last name of this surface? It's a cone. It's obvious it's a cone. It's a cone. But this is, remember, in, in general, we have double cone. 
One con que open up, one con que open down, pero specifically in this case, square root, y ahí take the positive solution. Entonces, my surface es con que open up. Con. This idea is clear or confusing? Guys, you need to create a mechanism in your brain. Okay, when you manipulate a little bit, okay, what is the reason que es no hemisphere? Bueno, the reason que es no hemisphere is because si you have something here, bueno, suppose que es plus, and you have a number here, 10, entonces es a sphere, it's obvious, right? Pero it's not the case. Okay, entonces now, when you see que x, x is, is square and y is square and c no is square, this look like, or a paraboloid, but in this case, no. No paraboloid because it's no square root. Uh -huh. It's supposed que paraboloid is like that. c is equal x square plus y square. It's a paraboloid without a square root. With a square root, it's a second. Ajá, entonces, de ese curso fe es súper easy, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Ese es fear, es obvio. Ese es fear, entonces, ese es fear ready one. Ajá, entonces, one, 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 ahí subo, one, one, one. Ok, es fear. And our solid is formed by cone, o sea, es solid. Okay, I suppose que the intersect I need to find. The solid is formed by the one piece of the cone. And the top we have one piece of the sphere. This is my solid. So it's like uh, above the cone. Uh -huh. the, in the problem specification clear, above the cone. Above, no? And below the sphere. Uh -huh. Normally, in all problem, no, in all problem is the same, but I switching, for example, is uh, above the above the sphere, um, uh, within the sphere, and below the cone. So it's totally different solid, no? But no, no, no. And this is our solid so far. Okay, what should I do now? Well, well, because I need to find, I need to find. The intersection and the two surface guys suppose case this uh, circle, no? E I projecting this onto the x y. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh, you know, uh, intersection is obvious que es algebra. Entonces, in intersection I see, for example. Uh, and the first equation, c square, is equal x square plus y square. Oh, nice. And you substitution. Well, either way, substitution, for example, uh, this pressure here, maybe, no? Oh, c, either way. Then we have x square plus y square plus x squared plus y squared again, wow, repetition, because c squared is x squared plus y squared in the cone, equal one. Therefore, we have two times x squared plus two times y squared equal one, divided by two, x squared plus y squared equal one half. Super, so this is the, the uh, equation for this circle, and by the way, it's the same circle when you project, you know, because the only thing when you project is to declare c is equal to zero, and c is equal to zero is x, y axis, but we have no c here. Uh -huh. So now, this is my, uh -huh. so I need to do the graph in 2D of this. x, y. This is a circle, right? <clears throat> Center and the origin, and the radius is a square root, one half. Que es radical 2 over 2. Uh -huh. Radical 2 over 2. Ok. The center. And this represents this projection. This. 
and the radio radio do do. Okay, so we are ready. We are ready to set up the limits in the triple integral, but in this case using spherical coordinate. Okay, in my opinion, well, we can use them both, but uh, spherical, we, we have to practice now. And uh, my opinion is easier. In this example, not always in this example. So I set up the triple integral. To compute the volume, uh -huh. the integral function is obvious. The one, uh -huh. and you put a Jacobian, and the Jacobian in a spherical is wait, 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 rho square sine phi. Guy, yeah, if you want this one, you can remove because you multiply by one is nothing, no? But you can multiply, you can remove. I put symbolical, you know? uh -huh. and to say I integrate. And the in the spherical, the order is always the same. It's d rho first, d phi secondly, and d theta last. Ah, uh, entonces rho rho rho. Remember, rho rho is the is the is the radio vector from 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 the origin to 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 any point on the solid. Okay, it's obvious that any point of the solid lie in this in the sphere. Uh, I know that the equation for this is for this sphere in the spherical coordinate is this is rho square. So x square plus y square plus c square is equal to rho square equal one. Therefore, rho is one. So when you integrate using a spherical. You go from the origin get rho is zero to the rho que touch physically touch any point inside the solid, que in this case in the top part is the sphere, que one, rho is one. And phi, remember phi is the angle like that. This is phi. And if we go, I suppose go to the zero, to the one angle, okay, I, I have no idea. I have no idea. So I need, I need, I need, I need, I need to do another 2D view to understand much better the solid. Okay, suppose, 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 and doing the view, other, other two dimension view. XCView. Uh -huh. In XCView, we have a cone uh -huh. and we have the sphere, no? Okay. Uh -huh. And this distance is. I have no idea. Uh -huh. This distance is. one well, this distance is one. Uh, that is the reason that when you integration in row, you go from zero to this. Uh, this row is one. But the thing is, I try to find is that angle. That angle. That angle. Uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. But I know, I know that this segment, is the radio, is, is, is radical 2 over 2, no? Okay, is the radio of the uh -huh. now now this is the this is the this segment no uh -huh. it is a sobio a sobio uh -huh. and this segment again is one no oh, well, let me see and confusing very confusing this segment again is one no? this segment again is one no? because this is the radio of the fear no the fear look like, like that and this segment is one, but I don't care. No, no, I don't care. I care this because I focus it. I focus it directly in this triangle. Look, this triangle, this triangle, uh -huh, and this triangle. Okay. My goal is, 
and my goal is find this angle. Phi is a radical 2 over 2. This is a 1. Uh -huh, and I say, well, do you find the third side? Oh, no, no, you apply tangent because we have the collection of the trigonometric function. The tangent phi should be equal opposite over, uh, sorry, uh, tangent no, uh, sine, 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 sine. Sine, que es de trigonometric function, the state relationship between sine phi is equal opposite, is radical 2 over 2, divided by 1. Those are actually radical 2 over 2, and the angle can satisfy the, o sea, the phi is the sine inverse of radical 2 over 2, is 45 degree for pi over 4. You imply que phi is pi over 4. Easy, easy trigonometric equation. O sea, phi go from 0 here to this distance pi over 4. Uh -huh. And what about theta? Well, theta is completed because it's round. 0 to pi. Not always 0, 0 to pi. You see in the review package, you know. But well, okay. The majority. Do you understand how we set out the limit? So say, uh, what is the uh, super advantage? Well, the super advantage is that you can separate, if you want, this integral and three integral. Okay, one integral only because the limit is a constant. When this situation no happens, it doesn't know. One integral is the uh, theta, is this. Another integral is from, from 0 to pi over 4. Uh -huh. Only sine phi d phi. And another integral, 0 to 1 of the rho square d rho. Wow, so easy. This is really easy. And we compute separately. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh -huh. this is super advantage to do it in that way. This is 2 pi. It's all because 2 pi. Because anti derivative theta is theta, or in between 2 pi and 0 is 2 pi. Uh -huh. And anti derivative sine is minus cosine. Minus cosine phi. Evaluate in between 0 and pi over 4, no? Entonces, minus cosine pi over 4, minus cosine 0. Uh, cosine uh, minus uh, radical 2 over 2, minus 1. Ok, entonces, now, wait, 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 wait. Entonces, es 1 eh, minus radical 2 over 2. Uh, and you find the least common denominator, que es 2, es 2 minus radical 2. Ok, this is the result of the second integral. And the result of the last integral is super easy is rho q over 3 in well, between 0 and 1 is 1 third. And we put everything together, everything together, everything together. Okay, it's 2 pi, very sophisticated. No, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't think so. No sophisticated. 2 minus radical 2 over 2. And one third. Uh -huh. These two is cancelled and it stays those alive. 2 minus radical 2, parenthesis, multiplication by pi, divided by 3. Final answer. End the story. Beautiful. By hand. But the thing I try to illustrate is can you convert, see, so you are doing this integral using Cartesian or rectangle or cylindrical. Is more complicated. The beauty of this is that now we break it down this integral in three integral because the limit is a constant and we can separate the integral function and we get the same result. But you spend two minutes doing it that way and you spend two hours doing it another way. Let me show you the our famous solid in algebra. Okay, I, I bring for you. Let me try. Open. I suppose it's this. Yeah. Okay, boom. Okay, beautiful. Make a zoom. Share the screen. Uh -huh. Look, wow, I like. 
Bueno, Lula ice cream, ¿no? No exactly. Bueno, the problem. Bueno, okay. Look, look at the cone. This is the cone. Bang. This is the cone. The cone. Okay, it's only the upper branch of the cone. And this is a sphere. Boom. And the intersection in between the sphere and the cone. Well, we have one piece of the sphere in the top, and we have one piece of the cone in the lateral walk. Uh, now here in the curve, you can see the curve here is the intersection. Look. Okay. I want to say everything. So you have time. You can analyze by yourself. At home. Ok, this is very, very useful. Ok. Se parece a un trompo. Un trompo. Ok. Look like, sí. Un trompo. Ok, un trompo. Un trompo. Ok, ok. Any question about the example one of, of the sphere? It's spherical, coordinate. I have two more. I don't know if we have no time or not. We continue Friday. So Friday we continue spherical. We continue another application for the triple integral uh, and double integral is the same. And um, we start review, maybe, maybe. Okay, example two. Example two of the spherical. Well, the example two is more complicated. The solid is formed by the intersection three surface. The first surface is x squared plus y squared plus c squared equals 16. The second is x squared plus y squared plus c squared equals 9. And the second is x squared plus y squared minus c squared equals 0. We don't, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, this is solid. Uh-huh, so I need to do the graph in 3D. Always the same procedure, guy. Identification of the surface. This is, a, that is the reason I, I emphasize you too much. Okay, you need to know identification the surface. Okay, what is the first surface? What is this one? A sphere, very well. A sphere, radio, four, no? And what about the second? What about the second? Also a sphere. Radio, nine, three, no? Okay, so square nine. And what about the, the third one? There you go. Very well. It's a cone. Uh -huh, and that, well, it's a sphere radius four. I suppose because this is four. Uh huh. A sphere radius four. No, actually, it's no hemisphere, you know, it's completely sphere, but it's okay. Uh, uh, okay, okay, I forgot to say that Z is greater than or equal to zero. No, and this limitation indicates that every surface is defined uh, above the X, Y plane, so the positive Z, no negative. So, no specification to say we have two branches, but no. We have another 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 hemisphere in three. Another hemisphere. Uh -huh. And we have a cone. And the cone, bueno, open up. 
uh, specific that gone, I proved in the other, and the other, oh, wait, wait a second, like that. I proved that the angle, because it's the same cone, this angle is pi over four. I proved in the other example. So my story is a little bit weird because let me try to do my best. We have the intersection here and between the the large sphere and the cone, similar to the other problem. But we have another intersection here. Okay. Aye. Then my solid, uh, wait a second. This is the solid is formed by Bye 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 bye. Okay, the top part is a sphere, big sphere, the bottom part is another sphere, and the walk, the lateral walk, corresponds with the cone. This is my solid. Okay, wow, it's my solid. Uh -huh. Let me try to find my sketch in algebra to, to understand because by hand is hard. I we try to do our best. But no, 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 it's hard. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, this guy. Okay, okay, good. Very good. Wait a second. Let me move to this. Okay, okay. Now, let me share the screen. Okay. Let's switch into the screen. Okay, okay, and okay. Wow, wow. Look at that. Do you see or no? Let me try to explain the idea for this complicated solid. This is a little bit sophisticated, Ricardo. Eh? When we have a cone, look at the cone, wow. double cone. But I don't care the, the, the bottom part because it's C is greater than zero. We have two spheres, the big sphere and the small sphere. Because our solid E is the intersection. Look, look. So now the bottom part is curvy. It's a sphere, it's a piece of the sphere. The top bar is a sphere also. And the lateral wall is a cone. Do you see? Yes or no? Do you see? Yes or no? Super good. Super cool. Okay, super cool. Okay. Let me come back again to the whiteboard. I don't forget. Yes. Wait a second. Okay. Whiteboard now. Okay, but oh, no, no, no enough, no enough to set up the 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 the, 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 the triple integral because of the three D view approximately, but we need two D view, two D view, at least one two D view. So you're projecting onto the X Y plane. The thing you see is two circle. Yes or no? It's two circle. One circle radius is a three, no? A three. And another circle is four. Uh -huh. But this is not enough. This is 2D. One view one 2D. I need another. I need another. How do you know that you need another? Well, pfft, there are no recipes to explain that. However, I'm going to see much better. You apply lateral view. A lateral view is look, look, look. This is the XC O Y Z. Doesn't matter. We have <coughs> we have a cone. Uh -huh. By the way, the the angle here is pi of four. And we have two spheres. One sphere with the radio is four. Another sphere with the radio is three. Uh -huh. Does our solid 
I suppose he lie here. Make sense or no? Uh -huh. when, when you play it here, you don't see clear because you, you cover everything. Okay, okay, this is the, this is, okay, so we need some time, guys, one projection 2D, uh -huh. additional, to understand much better the solid. This is obvious. It's, it's, it's more information, more clear, not necessarily algebra, okay, to understand with my solid. Now ready to compute the volume, terribly Uh -huh. Remember, spherical coordinate, Jacobian is rho square sine phi. The rho, always in this order, n spherical. The rho first, the phi second, the theta last. Uh -huh. Now the limit, the limit here, rho one, rho two. Who helped me with this setup? or identification, who is row one, row two. Remember, row is the vector position from the origin. Well, it's a segment, no vector. To any point on the solid, no? Bang, touch this sphere first. Um, bang, touch the second sphere secondly. Maybe more clear to see is in this view. In this view, you go from this tang, this is the lower bone, and this is the upper bone. This is obvious. Uh, me, at least for me, I don't know you. The row one is three, and row one is four. So from three to four. Okay. Uh -huh. And what about phi? I did this integration. Phi is from zero to pi. So from zero to pi over four, sorry. 0 pi over 4. Uh -huh. Phi, you don't see in the xy plane. No. That is the reason it was necessary to do another. Uh, uh -huh. uh, let me try to prove somehow. Remember the relationship on a pi over 4 ID before, okay? And theta finally is from 0 to 1. Data is clear here. Okay, it's from zero to pi. Okay, and you compute this. Uh, in this case, you can separate, integrate one by one separately. Uh -huh. Because the limit the contact, and the answer is it's 37. Parenthesis two minus radical three pi divided by three. Okay, super. Super fantastic. Okay, I have another problem. Why well, not? I have another. Okay, everyone follow me. Everyone understand very well. It's confusing, it's clear. It's sophisticated. Opinion, opinion. R. Little BR. Yes, yes. It's part of the technical drawing, technical drawing, but GeoGebra GeoGebra help us to, to understand the solid. I promise, can the test I don't put sophisticated solid because they are sophisticated solid. Okay, I cannot find, I, I have experience, sophisticated, intersection, cylinder, sphere, paraboloid is crazy. And you don't see very well. But no, no, it's not the world. We are no genius. No? Uh -huh. Well, suppose that we are genius, but we have time to see different view, to do a algebra. Okay. Okay. Let's see another problem, the last problem, at least to set out the problem. And a uh, Understand, no? And we continue next time. It's again compute the volume. This is example three of the spherical. Uh -huh. But the volume is the solid, solid formed by, you see, solid formed by T is a solid formed by 
different surface. The first surface is C equal one over radical two. And the second is, yeah, X squared plus Y squared plus C squared equal. Uh -huh. This is solid bonded by this surface. Okay, let me try at least to identification this. Okay, I have no idea, I lost. Where do I start? Okay. Uh -huh. Now, what is the first surface? First name, last name. It's a plane. Very well. It's a plane. It's a plane parallel to the X, Y plane. And the distance is one over radical three. I suppose que es, suppose que es this. One over radical three, radical two, sorry. And this is like a zero point one over radical two is approximately zero point seven zero seven. Okay, it's less than one. Uh -huh. Entonces, this is a plane like that. Ooh. Parallel to the XY, C equal constant. Totally flat, plane. Wow, and what about the second surface? A sphere, okay, a sphere, a sphere, a sphere in which the radio is one, no? radio one, okay. Uh -huh. See, radio one, one is bigger than radical two or two. So this is our, our sphere, look like that. Uh -huh. Therefore, the intersection in this, well, 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 I suppose okay, is one piece of the sphere. Here we have a connection. I don't know exactly if it's curvy. I suppose it's curvy. Uh -huh. And this is our solid. Is, for example, mm -hmm, is the surface above the plane and below or within the sphere. Okay, let me try to see this picture in your algebra and you set out the triple integral next time because the time is over. Okay, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Open. Okay. Okay. Here. Boom. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, share screen. Screen, screen. Switch it to, no, 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 no. Sorry. Okay. Share screen. Okay. There you go. Switch the window here. Okay, okay, super. You see the algebra? Aha, uh -huh. do you see? Yeah, look, we have a sphere. This is sphere. Look, when we have a plane, this plane, I flash it. And we have a sphere, I flash it. And the solid we are talking about is this solid, okay, it's totally flat. And the bottom part flat because it's a plane. And uh, the top, the roof, is one piece of the sphere. Okay, do you see or no? Super. We are the best in Miami they call it or no? Wow. Uh, let me see. Stop sharing. Do you see my face? 115%. Okay, okay. Victoria, are you there? Answer me, Victoria. Victoria? Yes, stay uh, some minutes after the, when the class is over. David, guys, uh, one more time I repeat. I saw in the blackboard that some, some good students 
que get good grade in the online for God to send me the test on paper. Okay? Now, why not? Uh, try to send me because when I average, you, uh, your overall score is, is down. Okay, just check it out. Your grade in Blackboard. Any problem, any discrepancy, let me know. Okay? Okay, super. Let's 